At the beginning of the universe, there was chaos, with matter and energy swirling around in a seething cauldron. But there were no stars, no galaxies, no beacons of light to guide our way. It would take eons for the universe to cool down enough for matter to coalesce into the first stars and eventually into galaxies. During this early epoch, light was constantly interacting with matter, creating a dense fog that obscured everything from view. But then, after about 400,000 years, the universe had expanded enough for light to break free from matter and scatter in all directions. Yet despite this newfound freedom, there were no stars yet to shine. For thousands of years, the universe remained shrouded in darkness, a mysterious period we call the Dark Ages, where nothing radiated and the only light was that left over from the Big Bang itself. The early universe was a mysterious, dark void, with no objects emitting light to observe. Using our understanding of gravity, quantum physics, and nuclear fusion, we calculated that it would take one or two billion years just to form the first stars, and even longer to form galaxies. But how did these celestial structures come to be? We are still searching for answers and have turned to a powerful new tool, the Next Generation Space Telescope. With its advanced capabilities, we hope to witness the birth of galaxies and the end of the Dark Ages, revealing the mysteries of the universe's earliest days. Imagine being able to see the birth of galaxies, their first glimmer of light in the universe. But how can we observe something that emits high-energy ultraviolet light when it was born so long ago that the light has traveled for billions of years and the wavelengths have been stretched to become infrared? Well, that's where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. It's designed to capture infrared light and reveal the secrets of the early universe, allowing us to see those first galaxies as they emit their infrared glow. It's as if we're fooling the universe and saying, we know what you were like at birth and we're going to find you in a new form. The James Webb Space Telescope is an incredible instrument, meticulously designed to capture infrared emissions that started out as ultraviolet light from the early universe. But its abilities go beyond that. Infrared light is also ideal for peering inside dense gas clouds that shroud newborn stars from view. These stars are invisible in visible light due to scattering, but in the infrared, their light can escape the cloud and reveal their position, along with any planets in orbit around them. So the James Webb Space Telescope is equally adept at studying the nearby universe and the distant past. But when scientists aimed the telescope towards galaxies being born, they were in for a shock. They found galaxies from the Dark Ages, a time period where the universe was just emerging from a state of complete darkness. The lead researcher was so surprised by this discovery that he reportedly spat out his coffee. This incredible telescope has opened up a whole new world of possibilities, and we can only imagine what other discoveries it will make in the future. When the researcher realized the kind of data he had on his hands, he was stunned. The implications were immense, and he couldn't help but wonder what it all meant. So, he made a list of the possible explanations. The first item on his list was that we don't fully understand how galaxies are formed. That's precisely why we built the telescope in the first place. However, everything we know about matter and energy suggests that this should be a dark ages, and something had to change. Thus, he considered the possibility that we need to go back and adjust our understanding of how galaxies form in ways we don't yet comprehend. Alternatively, he considered that some kind of object had no trouble forming in the dark ages, which would challenge our current understanding of the universe. Finally, he questioned whether our assumption that we are observing the Dark Ages is somehow flawed, and there could be a different explanation for what we are seeing. Currently, we are relying on pictures of these galaxies and their properties to make our deductions. However, what we are waiting for now is to get a spectrum of those galaxies to gain a more in-depth understanding. He even avoided calling them galaxies since they could be something else entirely. By analyzing the spectrum, we can identify what chemical elements are present in these objects, allowing us to better understand their composition and placement in the universe. Let me explain a bit more about how we can use the spectrum of an object to learn more about it. As you may know, a rainbow is a spectrum of the sun, and it's created when white light passes through a raindrop and gets split into its component colors. But if we take a closer look at that spectrum, we can learn a lot about the chemistry of the sun, including what chemical elements are present. We can also determine other properties of the sun, such as how fast it rotates, 
by analyzing its spectrum. Similarly, if we can obtain the spectrum of the galaxies or objects we're observing with the James Webb Space Telescope, we can determine what elements they are made of and learn more about their properties. This will allow us to better understand how they formed and how they fit into our current understanding of the universe. Additionally, analyzing their spectra can also help us determine their distance from us more accurately. So, obtaining the spectrum of these objects is a crucial step in unraveling the mysteries of the universe. Maybe there are various factors that are influencing our estimate of the distance of these objects, and they might actually be located on the edge of the Dark Ages, but they are appearing to be a little farther away than they actually are. Perhaps there are some unknown phenomena that are affecting the way we perceive the light coming from these objects. Alternatively, there could be some kind of contamination in our data that is causing us to make incorrect assumptions about their distance. We cannot rule out these possibilities at this point. However, some people tend to jump to conclusions when they encounter something they don't understand, and they immediately suggest that it might be aliens. While it's always possible that there could be extraterrestrial life out there somewhere, it's not the most likely explanation for what we're seeing. In scientific research, we typically start with the most plausible explanations based on what we already know, and then work our way towards less likely ones. It's important to note that the purpose of building this telescope was to help us better understand the birth and evolution of galaxies. With each new telescope, we gain access to new windows on the universe, allowing us to observe and study cosmic phenomena that were previously out of reach. The discovery of these mysterious objects is just one example of how telescopes like this can help us expand our knowledge of the cosmos. Yes, exploring the universe with a new telescope not only helps us understand what we already knew, but it also leads to discoveries that we couldn't even anticipate. That's the beauty of science on the frontier. So, if you come across an article that says scientists have to revise their cherished theories and go back to the drawing board, don't be surprised. In fact, scientists are always at the drawing board because that's the nature of making discoveries. We must constantly push the boundaries of what we know and venture into the unknown. As our knowledge expands, so too does the extent of our ignorance. Therefore, it's important to learn to embrace the questions and uncertainties and celebrate the unknown instead of fearing it. And that's the essence of scientific exploration. Science is not just about confirming what we already know. It's also about uncovering new knowledge that we couldn't even imagine. This is the thrill of exploring the unknown, of venturing into uncharted territories. So, when you come across an article about scientists having to rethink their theories, don't be discouraged. This is just part of the process. Science is an ongoing pursuit that requires us to constantly re-examine what we think we know and be open to new discoveries. As our understanding of the world expands, so too does our awareness of how much we don't know. But this shouldn't be cause for fear or apprehension. Rather, it's an opportunity to embrace the unknown, to be curious about the mysteries that still elude us. Life is full of questions, and it's up to us to appreciate the journey of seeking answers, even when we don't know what we'll find. So let's keep exploring, keep pushing the boundaries of what we know, and celebrate the excitement of discovery along the way.